So I recently released a music video for my newest single called Islands and a lot of you guys have tweeted me about your theories and the thoughts that occurred to you while watching the music video. So today, all your questions will be answered. This is Islands Music Video Explained. Okay, so this part at the very first scene, it's kind of like a purgatory, all white with leaves and it kind of symbolizes the, the in-between of um, a destructive place and a place of peace. You can see that the aquarium that I'm in is empty, it has no water and it could symbolize the emptiness that I feel about the relationship and represents hopelessness as well. And then as the video goes on, all the scenes are kind of bland, uh, the colors are muted, and it represents just the feeling of being alone in this whole situation. This next shot is me holding a beaker. The blue pigment slowly falls, it kind of represents a slow burn and a taintedness. This scene uh, where it cuts to like black. It's very important because it will set the the color and the mood of the scenes towards the end where it's all blue flushed. So we introduce the guy here and we'll see that he is moving away and it focuses on me again being alone and contemplating, staring into space. And then the next scene, he comes back and decides to kind of re-enter my life after leaving. The scene is where the guy kind of pours water into an overflowing beaker of mine. Any person in their relationship can rely on you so much and then it's to the point that you overflow and you couldn't handle it anymore. This shows separate frames of the guy and the girl and the colors are blues and pinks, very intense and it kind of represents the peaks of the relationship. You'll also notice my eye makeup which I really really adore, thank you Sil. Uh, so it's bland in color but that will change as the video progresses. This is the part of the video where the guy and the girl interact and it kind of symbolizes all of the stuff in the relationship that is working and is not working. In the first scene, you'll see me untying the rope as the guy ties the rope that I've been untying. Somebody in the relationship is trying to repair something but somebody is undoing everything. The next one is two fish in separate fish bowls and they're so close to each other but never really meeting. You can also see that the water levels of each fish in the bowl is uneven. This is a scene that a lot of people have been bugging me about. Uh, quite a few people figured out that I was doing a morse code and I was actually signaling stay and you will be able to see it in this full video clip of me doing the Morse code. Because in the in the music video, the the scene was cut into probably just a few letters. The frosted glass here in the scene symbolizes the things getting hazy, things that you misunderstand because not everything is very clear. A happy accident here in the scene is that there seems to be another face that is formed because of the reflections of the light and the shadow and it's kind of cool. And then it's my turn to leave. Yeah. This is the awakening part. Magigising na ako sa katotohanan, guys. After the awakening, you'll see more pinks uh, with the blues and the contrasting colors just represents um, the emotions, the very strong emotions also. This scene is kind of iconic. People have already made memes about it. It's me pouring water on the guy and it's just me being fed up <laughs> about everything and um, giving everything back to him. This hugging scene that keeps cutting at hindi matuloy tuloy. Symbolism, guys. We start to show signs of intimacy and closeness as the guy tucks the hair back uh, out of my face and then he hugs me and I stay like my face stays very stoic and I don't give a sh <laughs> throughout the video you'll see me closing my eyes and opening them that symbolizes my awakening over and over 
uh, sometimes your epiphanies don't come to you in just one time. You, sometimes you need it to keep punching you right in the face before you realize this is really it. Red. It's for aesthetic purposes only. <laughs> The choice of red cloth in this video is kind of symbolic of bleeding, of hurt, of anger. All of these emotions that are coupled with the fact that a relationship is being so destructive and um, just eating you alive. The struggle to get out of the cloth is real. It also mirrors the fact that it's often difficult to get out of something that you're in too deep in and it's not the easiest thing to do. This whole series of um, cut scenes is just me and the guy in the island and then there's a scene here that um, appears to be me waiting for something to happen and eventually I get fed up and then a cut scene of me doing all of these things that I used to do to save the relationship but now it's just me alone doing these things without the guy in the frame or in the picture. This part is just me um, staring into the camera very intensely and it's kind of the conviction in me that I've already found after everything and me declaring that finally I am going to say goodbye. This last part is a throwback to my music videos in the past. People have already spotted some references to my music videos. This in particular is purple corn from my St. Petersburg music video where I was eating purple corn while we were traveling. This is a whistle that is part of the Grammar Nazi music video. Towards the end, I'll blow like a really loud whistle. I wish that we could have controlled the volume for that edit, but we weren't able to. And then this part, I am opening a note for myself. It says, all this time I'm chasing the wrong kind. And it is the lyrics to my song, The Chase, which was released previously right before Islands. And you can see me burning the paper amidst all the flowers. And it just means that I, I'm over chasing the wrong kind and that I deserve much better and that I need to stop doing this to myself. This is the beginning of all the blues. There are no more pinks, no more contrasting colors, it's just blue. And for me, that symbolizes a moment of peace and clarity. And you can see that through the scenes around me as well. The island isn't just an island with leaves, but it is full of flowers. Having life after a destructive and very bad experience or situation. We were very intentional with our color choices. We start with the white, it's the present, and it's the state of rumination, the state of mulling things over, thinking about everything, and just thinking about how to move forward. Next we have pinks and blues. Uh, the very intense and contrasting colors represent emotions, strong feelings about, about each other, kind of a flashback of some sort. The final scenes are the blue flush, and it just, to me, represents peace and growth and harmony and acceptance. In the last shot, you will see that the aquarium that I'm in has water, but it's not filled up to the brim. It's just only in the middle. And I think it's up to the viewer to see whether it is half empty or half full, whether you think that throughout all my experiences, there has been change for the better or not. There are a couple of other Easter eggs in this whole scene. Uh, aside from the corn and the whistle, there's also a watermelon, which is an icon or imagery that we use for Of Sound, Mind, and Memory, which was my EP last 2017. And it's just kind of there. You don't really notice it because it's all blue, but it's nice to know that it's there. The final scene is one of my favorites. It's just me posing with the flowers that have grown right beside me and I think that it's a beautiful final scene because it means that I have grown with them. It's been a long time since the island has been left bare and having all these flowers means that it's a journey to get from being so 
empty to being in full growth and full acceptance. We start the video with the establishing shot of me in an island in isolation. And if you compare it side by side to the final shot of the video, it's sort of the same. But now everything's in full color and with flowers. There's growth, there's love, there's life. That's like a perfect juxtaposition from beginning to end. Flowers take a long time to grow and I think that that's also how you are when you're trying to forget or move past something that's really terrible. It acknowledges that it takes time and when you do grow and get out of everything, it's gonna be beautiful and worth it.